Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, we're gonna go ahead and do a DIY of a glitter door. Now it does not have to be a glitter door. It definitely can be a glitter wall, but I'm definitely gonna show you my technique and it came out really, really great. Look how it's sparkling. I'm definitely gonna go over all the glitter and all the supplies that I have used and my technique. It was very tedious, but here we go. Now this is my closet room. This is, I don't have anything in it because I took everything out. Sorry about my kids in the background, but I took everything out and I really wanted to change the color. I wanted to change everything about it because I wanted it to look kind of like a dressing room. Um, it's not completely there yet, but I'm definitely gonna get there. But here, I'm going to go ahead and scrape my door. You definitely wanna get all the paint chips and everything as smooth as possible at this point. And you um, just want a smooth canvas. So just make sure you scrape your door. Um, it's very tedious, but it's definitely gonna make it look 100% better. Now right here is my glitter. Now, I got all of my glitter from Walmart. Um, as you can see, that's my light. I mixed three types of glitter. That's one of them. Um, this is another one. Now the first two is fine. Fine, really fine glitter. Then I mixed it with like a big, um, like a big, you know, a much larger glitter. And all of these came from Walmart. If I can find the description, I'm definitely gonna put it down below. I just got like this little clear can and I mixed it up well in it. Um, it came out the perfect color as the room I was going to paint it as, so that's 100%. I'm glad that happened as well. I really didn't know how this was going to look when I mixed it in. I was like, oh my god, this is not going to come out right. But the color came out exactly, I mean like so close to the color that I was painting my room. So I'm very happy about that. Look at that glitter, you guys. So pretty. Now, excuse my toes. <laughs> now, what I do is my technique is I paint. You have to do a little at a time because the paint dries so quickly. So I roll the paint, um, you know, just, just little sections. Roll the paint in a good, good little section. Um, be thin about the coats. Uh, well, not too thin because you cannot go over the door twice. You see what I'm saying? So if you would like to prime the door first, I recommend priming the door first because this coat, once you put the glitter over it, that's it. You know what I'm saying? You can't go over the glitter and then spray more glitter. You know, you might can do it in a couple of more spots, but you need to paint the door that your last coat is going to be the coat that you spray the glitter on. I did not mix my glitter in my paint. I watched YouTube and I, I watched a lot of techniques and the way I'm going to show you today is actually probably the messiest, but it gave me the results I definitely was looking for. Um, as you can see, I'm still just, you know, trying to roll the paint on and trying to get a nice even coat. Um, obviously the door is not flat, so I had to use a paintbrush to get in between those edges and then a nice um, small roller to get to get in those like really, really small spaces. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just let you guys watch my technique and, you know, let me know down in the description box below, like, um, your techniques or what you would have done differently than I have. But I, like I said, I watched some YouTube videos and I didn't know where to start. I just knew what kind of look I wanted. And it seems like the more effort you put into it and the more tedious and the crazy it gets, the beautiful it is, you know what I'm saying? So it's like the easier way out, you're not gonna get the results you want. Look at all that glitter. It's like half. So what I do in this technique right here is I, um, I fold a paper plate that I got out of my kitchen and I pour a little glitter on it at a time. Now you do wanna angle it towards the door. Don't angle it straight, because if you angle it straight and blow it, um, with the blow dryer, it's going to blow back in your face and, um, glitter is glass, you guys. So, um, I recommend just wearing goggles. Now, I just use a hair dryer. I recommend you using cool, um, 
cool air, not heat, because we don't want to melt the paint and we don't want to dry the paint uh, before the glitter hits the paint, the wet paint, because the obvious, you know, you want the glitter to stick to the wet paint. So I'm go ahead and start blowing it down at an angle, and if you can look closely, you can go ahead and start seeing that that glitter, that that sparkle from a distance, and it only gets better from there. Like really take your time and get into those wet spaces, because the, the more you take your time, the prettier the prettier it's gonna be. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just let you guys watch my technique, and again, you know, down don't, don't uh, be afraid to let me know, like. Oh, you could have did this, you could have did that, and yeah. I have completed the portion that I was painting or that section I was painting and as you can see you can always already get an image of how this door is going to turn out obviously from the first video um, at the beginning of the video it came out gorgeous but this is just you do want to just do it one section at a time the paint really dries very quickly and the the, the glitter is just gonna bounce back off if you don't and as you can see, um, this is the finished result. It came out gorgeous, you guys. I feel like this can like look good in any color. Red, pink, blue, black. Oh my God, just like this technique is, I feel like any glitter will look pretty. But this is the color I chose, this little aqua marine type color, you guys. This came out so pretty. I'm so proud of myself. And here we are, you guys, we are finished. There is still a lot of more work to do with the paint. I feel like it's the hard part. Decorating is the easy part. Again, I'm going to put the description um, in the description, my supplies, what I've used, my technique, whatever I use in this video, I'm gonna try to find everything. But don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'm definitely gonna be posting more videos of my DIYs and everything. So thanks, guys.